Hey guys, it has been more than five months since I made my last webio on a perimeter metro. This is another perimeter metro and I think it is time for another one. This is not in New York City since you're in webio westward. This goes around Chicago and neighboring Cook County. It will go from O'Hare Airport to Chicago South Station both on my proposed high-speed line. This is a 30 mile long stretch, all of which is built on existing tracks except for a very small portion, which I'll get into later in this webio. So the line will start at O'Hare Airport. This is big. This is the second busiest airport in all of USA and many people from all over the Chicago area, not just the downtown, will, come, will want to come here. I don't want a lot of cross-suburb traffic crowding Chicago's many highways and rather allowing the residents to take the metro, the perimeter metro, from the southern and western suburbs up to O'Hare Airport. It is also parallel to the existing North Central service on the metro lines, so that will provide an easy connection as well. Continuing south, the line will be electrified perimeter metro style with top speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. The next stop is Schiller Park, which is also on the metro line. Continue. By the way, this is four tracks. So metro and high speed will be on the two eastern tracks and the perimeter metro will be on the two western tracks. If you want any new information about this segment. Franklin Park is right where the line, the metro line exits and it also meets another metro line here. I forgot its name so if you know its name please leave it in the comments. After Franklin Line, it will go on to its own segment, though it is still existing track, mostly freight track. It is still important to note that this is still three to four tracks. Back in the day, Chicago was a major manufacturing hub. And before trucks were around and highways around, everybody used trains. That's why many of these lines that I'm going through are three or four tracks. The perimeter metro will only need two of the tracks, therefore allowing some extra space for any goods trains that still use these tracks. Obviously, the line will have to slow down here. But this is not particularly a high-speed line, but it will support speeds up to 100 miles per hour. The next station is North Station along Route 45. This connects all the way to just north of downtown, so a lot of residents can be served by this station. Next station, Bellwood. Now, I actually want to make a metro station right here. Move the existing Bellwood station here because it will provide an easier connection for people from Melrose Park as well as the western suburbs along the Union Pacific West Line. So I think that this should be a good transfer station right here and this station should be demolished. Sorry, but this should be a better place. It's it's where the two lines cross. Line will continue on the existing track. Next station is also in Bellwood. It intersects Interstate 290 and this is critical because it allows people who want to take a car to the inner metro area and then finally to their jobs along the perimeter metro. They can park at this station here and ride the metro to their final destination. Next station is Westchester, another suburb. I think this is actually one of the higher end suburbs. So it will be useful for many people going not to the city center, but rather to the suburbs. But it's also important to note that this connects to many lines that go to the city center. So they don't have to take a highway or drive 15 minutes to get to the nearest metro line when the perimeter, perimeter metro is already there for them. Next station next is Brookfield and I like the other station. I think that this, this should be a transfer. Delete one of these stations here and move it here. Preferably LaGrange Road should be moved here. It's like within walking distance anyways. So just make a transfer station here and that would be good to go. The next station is Summit. Now Summit's interesting. Summit intersects with a metro line which is the Heritage Corridor and it's also close to Interstate 55. 
However, there is no ramp to Interstate 55. So for such a station where to be built, I think that there should be ramps connecting to Interstate 55, connecting the further southwest suburbs, which extend a long way to the perimeter metro. Traffic in the inner Chicago metro area is much worse than the outer Chicago metro area. So people from the southwestern suburbs can easily commute to the summit station and take the perimeter metro to their final destination. Next station is Bedford Park. Nothing too special except the stadium, the, as they call it, soccer stadium here, or as I call it, football, because that's its real name. But that's nearby as well. After that, the line will go through a big railway yard. Only the centermost tracks will be electrified through. In the middle of the yard is Ford City, which is served by a lot of residential area. So this can easily connect to the nearby metro lines to go to Chicago as well as along the exist the perimeter metro to go to jobs in the northwest. Next station is Ashburn, similar situation to Ford City. Then it will connect with the other metro line, the Southwest Service. This is where it will stop at Ashland Avenue, which is a transfer station. It should be a transfer station at least, it's not yet. After that, this is the only part of the line that has to be built. Sadly, I have to demolish like 10 houses to do this. I was considering a tunnel, but I wanted two goals. One, to make this cheap and two, to not have to build any tunnels or any obscene structures for this line. I want to do this at the lowest cost possible and sadly but goodly at the same time, the houses here will have to be demolished. However, keep in mind, nothing has had to be done in terms of real estate until this point. So it's only 0.3 miles has to be built. I think that's worth it. It will connect with the existing metro line which goes to the south, I think, if I remember correctly, the electric line. It will go to Park Manor and it will end at North, the Chicago South Station, not North, South. And there you go, that's the perimeter metro. Now, there are three goals for this. One, connect people from Southwest suburbs, southeast suburbs, and northwest suburbs together via public transport without having to take a bus, a highway, or a train into center city. Another reason is to connect the various communities along these lines to the existing metro lines for them to commute to downtown. Finally, it will allow people from further out to get to their jobs not necessarily on their highway. For example, from 55 to 4 O'Hare is not an easy drive. So they can easily go to Summit, take the perimeter metro up here. It will also easily integrate with the high speed line that I proposed. All my proposals go together. So I think this is just a benefit to both the high speed line and the Chicago metropolitan area as a whole. Thank you and goodbye.